uh, which has a warrant out for his arrest and wants him taken to The Hague for trial. And it's not a signatory because, of course, Colonel Gaddafi didn't sign because he didn't want uh, any trouble with them. And as a result of that, and the Libyan authorities have already said and made a statement of principle that they want to try all former regime figures inside Libya itself. Which may, uh, now, the point about that is that within Libya, of course, there is the death penalty. Uh, if he'd been taken to the International Criminal Court, uh, there is no death penalty. So it's quite possibly he may fate, face a, more, a worse fate than he would have done uh, indirectly through what his father did in not signing that treaty. That will be the first issue, of course, what happens to him, how well he is treated. I'm sure Western governments will be quietly saying uh, to the authorities in Tripoli, you know, we are watching, the world is watching what you do now with Saif al-Islam Gaddafi, and that will be very important indeed. John, we've just received some pictures of people celebrating on the streets of Tripoli as that news percolates through the country and indeed the region. We'll stay with these just to get a sense of what's going on on the streets of the Libyan capital. What's your sense, John? For the NTC, they haven't, maybe they have, maybe they have indeed. Have they planned for this day and do they have a skeleton that they want to follow? Do they have a scheme that they want to run through to make sure that it's seen to be done properly? I, I, I don't know, but of course the head, the effective interim president, is the former justice minister, so he is a lawyer. So he's aware of the legalities and, and will know about that. So perhaps he, and, and quite a few people, senior figures in the opposition, are lawyers. So they've certainly got the skills 